The point isn't necessarily the, the, the critique of the fry. The point is to make weekly fries a business expense. <laughs> fries with the fries on Friday. We're on our way to the french fry place. I don't know where we're going. And I just had this thought, what if he takes me to McDonald's? <laughs> I would not be disappointed. I love me some McDonald's fries. Well, good morning guys and welcome to the first episode of Fries with the Fries on Friday. Friday. Fries, fries with, with the, the fries, fries on Friday. Friday. Fries with the fries. Fries with the fries. Fries, fries with, with the, the fries, fries on, on Friday. Friday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have a couple questions about the logistics of this. Okay. Are we getting like truffle fries or different flavors? I don't know. There's no there's no formula to fries with the fries. If we were going to be like legit, we would get plain fries from all the places. But I think this is an occasion for truffle fries. Well, I, here's here's my feeling. I think we go to places and we get whatever fries are their fries. Their specialty. Yeah. Yes. And so then, like Arby's would be curly fries. Yes. The point isn't necessarily the, the, the critique of the fries. Okay, so like we're not the, becoming food bloggers. The, the point is to make weekly fries a business expense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're getting the truffle fries. <laughs> Buddy. Buddy boy. He gives a zero out of 10 review for car seat riding. How we're gonna do this is we're, we're gonna pull up, I'm gonna park, and then we'll reveal where we are. To me? Yes. And then we'll go in and get some fries. Okay. All right. We're, we're still working out the logistics of this whole fries with the fries thing. Hey, I think my shirt says celebrate the little things, right? Yeah. So celebrate the little things, like fries. Look, I'm, fries. Looking at, I'm looking your way like I can see what's happening, but I cannot. Okay, we're almost there. He didn't even have to blindfold me till now because I don't know directions at all. So I have no idea where we're going. I don't really know where we're going either. Okay, we are sitting outside and I'll, I'm gonna reveal to Mary. When cookies <laughs> not, delivered. Not that place. Not so Right there! Oh, Mr. Fries Man! Okay. Figured we'd start out with a place with our last name and the name of the place. Quick question. Have you ever had decision paralysis when they have so many numerous options? I'm trying to nail it down here. I believe in us. We can we can do this. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so I just looked up French fries, and Mr. Fries Man came up. It's like it's, it's almost like, like a, poutine. Yeah, it's like a full dinner on top of fries. <laughs> I have a feeling that French fries at Mr. Fries Man are like rice to sushi. Like it's just like a delivery method. You know? I loved their enthusiasm. Yeah, they they were all about it. Oh, where's uh, the button? Uh, I don't know. Okay. While our fries are getting made, we decided on, what did we get? Was it barbecue? Barbecue, bacon, bacon chicken, chicken, something, something fries. <laughs> like, wow. Yeah. Wow. We're walking across the street to get a Coke to go with our fries. At Family Fair. Okay. We got a Coke. Cheapest Coke in town. 89, 89 cents. cents. Makes up for our $14 fries we just oh, got dear. ordered. All right, we gotta go pick them up. We're committed to this idea. I know. We're going all out. We're doing for, it for you guys. We're going all out for the fries with the fries. I, I think Mr. Fries Man is a chain. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think so. so <laughs> if that's so, the case. So maybe people have Mr. Fries Man in their town. And they can let us know what they get. Mm -hmm. It's paralyzing. It's overwhelming. The menu pictures look like someone threw up on fries. I'm just saying. This particular genre of food does not photograph super well. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see how this turned out. Dun 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 dun. That looks amazing. Let's try to get some great cinematography right here. Okay. That's legit. This is legit. Look at that. Peter, yes. I already pre-took my all trace, so my enzymes are already kicking in me. Okay. Ready to help me out with let's, some of this. Let's start with a french fry. 
Okay. Just, just french fry. We got some ranch, some cheese, some barbecue sauce on there. Oh wait, I wanted to get it from this angle so the fancy logo. I'm trying to film a video here. <laughs> We're, We're good. good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> How many times have people asked to take our picture while we're going? <laughs> yeah. Um, Over the years. It's kind of a generic French fry. Okay. Okay. Yep. But what about this, those toppings you got there? All right. Let's. Here, you, you try a French fry. Try a fry. Try a fry. All right. A fry tries a fry. On Friday. Oh. Fries with the fr Okay. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. What do you think about that French fry? I see what you, what you were saying. Yeah. It looked like they were going to taste like Five Guys. Yeah, I think it's like where it's like potato mash. Mm-hmm. It's not... Oh, I don't know. This looks like a this looks like a potato. Yeah? Let me let me try one again. <clears throat> I'm eating an adult chicken nugget. Okay. Yes. Okay, I think my theory is right that the fries are like rice to sushi. It's just a delivery method for toppings. The toppings look amazing. Oh, ranch on your nose. Oh, okay. I have an update. I just took a big bite of like all the toppings with fries. That's good. That's really good. That's good. I, I approve. Okay, so my, my topic for discussion over fries is what's your most memorable in our 11 years of marriage? memorable restaurant or takeout experiences. Okay, can I actually go back a little farther than 11 years? Okay, going back farther. So, I think it was your 20th birthday. Oh, yes. You know what I'm gonna say? Well, that is a memorable food experience. No, 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 not that one. Uh -oh. That was your 19th. Oh. The, when we went to Baltimore and oh, yeah. we ate Five Guys yes. on the like water uh -huh. thingy. Yeah. <clears throat> and that was memorable. Yes. That was that was really good. I think we'll have to have a fries with the fries on Friday at Five Guys because they are debatably maybe the best fries. Maybe. I, Although, you know what fries I'm thinking about? Yeah, tell me. You know at the Raleigh Food Hall, oh. they have um, Parmesan truffle fries at the cow bar. We'll have to try that sometime. I don't recommend this for a date. It's just, there's no polite or um, proper way to eat this. It's true, but I think, I would actually say it's a great date. Great date? Because neither of you can pretend to be perfect. Yes. Break the ice. Let's see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, since we referenced it, 19th birthday, Mary made me a picnic, which included lemon pepper shrimp. Is that right? Butter, gar butter garlic. Butter garlic shrimp. I remember pepper. There may have been some pepper. <laughs> she packed, packed us a picnic. We went to the state park beautiful waterfall we climbed to the top of the waterfall and um i think we've told this story on here before it is worth telling again though this wow that car has eyelashes that is bizarre this girl comes bounding over to us on the rock and we say bounding because she was legitimately like <laughs> bounding over and she comes over and she's like now the details are foggy i think she might have said yeah, we were just gonna do a photo, a nude photo shoot over here. Oh yeah, it, it, it's in our room. You guys, we're just gonna do a nude photo shoot, like oh, over there. Way over there. And we're like, oh, oh, okay. And we so, said we'll move. We'll move. And she's like, oh no, 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 we'll, we'll go farther away. They literally go like 15 feet away, and off comes her shirt. She was behind a tree <laughs> that was this big, a tiny tree, and we were like, ah! no, we didn't scream, but we were like. Ah! Okay. 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 Wow. Also, we came to the knowledge that that's probably illegal in the state park. Yeah. So we were like, uh, we're gonna leave now. Oh, that was so weird. That was so uh, 
memorable. So memorable. It oh. was how many years ago now? Well, 19, I'm about to turn 34, so math is hard. No, it's but not. You were the calculus king. That's 25 years ago. No wonder the details are. 25? 15 years ago. <laughs> Fifteen okay, years ago, 15 yeah, years ago. yeah. Oh my, math is hard. This video is not sponsored in any way by Mr. Fry's Man, but Mary has already sold Mr. Fry's Man to somebody. <laughs> we were in the gas station waiting in line, and Mary goes, have you had Mr. Fry's Man to the person in front of us? He's like, no. Mary said, we're trying it. I would like to say, Okay. <clears throat> just for the record, mm -hmm. if you're sitting at home, and you're like, well, I can't leave the house right now to go get Mr. Fry's, ma'am. I'll tell you how to make it. Okay. Go in your freezer and grab the frozen french fries. Grab your frozen Tyson chicken strips. Yeah. Grab your bottle of ranch, barbecue, and shredded cheese. That's... Put it together, and there you go. That's basically what we have here. With bacon on top. All right, memorable places we've eaten. I feel like we've eaten, we ate more places when we were dating than probably in our marriage. We loved McCormick's and Schmick's. Yes. Because at night, you could go and have a cheeseburger for a was, dollar? I think it was a dollar 95. So you'd buy a like iced tea for like 250 uh -huh. and get a cheeseburger and fries for- And a pickle. And a pickle for dollar 95. Maria was our waitress. She always knew to bring extra sugar for Mary for her iced tea. <laughs> she and was amazing. We built a friendship with her over the years. Yeah, so we'd go like almost every Sunday night for happy hour. There was no um, Sunday night dinner at our school. Yes, the cafeteria was closed, so we had to eat out. And um, the yeah. burger deal was happy hour. Yeah, that was that was a good deal. I don't. I think if you go now, it's like five dollar burger, or it's still a, it's still a good deal. deal. But we gotta take him. Take him to McCormick's. Uh -huh. Mary, while we were in the gas station getting our um, eighty nine cent soda, Mary goes, "This is his first gas station experience. <laughs> He's never been in a gas station before." Okay. Okay. I'm, for some reason, burned into my memory was when we ate in Scotland at that burger place. Yeah. And we sat outside. Uh-huh. Why is that, like, so burned in my memory? I feel like maybe we wanted some American food. Yeah. And then, also, we had a memory with, we met a man outside, and he did our intro for us. Yes. And, and, and I think he said, welcome to the fried life. Fry light. 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 Fry light. He thought that's what we had said. Mm. Said that we you know? life. Life. Like, oh, life. That, that, was, that was a good moment. That was just when like the fry life was taking shape. Mm -hmm. Anyways. And now here we are, eight years later. Having fries with the fries on Friday. Right. So what's your like analysis <laughs> after? My we're filming a video. <laughs> um, my analysis is truly what I said if you're stuck at home. I wouldn't pay the money. Like if this was like $6? Yeah, maybe. But it's 13 or something. Mm -hmm. um, I will say that the chicken is just like um, TGI Friday's appetizer uh, boneless wings. When was the last time you had that? Probably 15 years ago. <laughs> They're just, <laughs> They're just like it. In review, I have to say, if the fries were any more special, it would be a disservice to the fries to coat them in all that stuff. You know? Do you agree or no? Um. You think they could be more special? Yeah. Okay. I think I am the kind of person who enjoys French fries that are basically a potato, like Five Guys. Yeah. These were like the encrustment of mashed potato. Yeah, it's true. I think just personally, I like a different style fry. Yeah. What do you, what do you think we should get next week? I'm gonna have my mind on... You pick next week and you surprise me. Well... What are you gonna have your mind on? 
those truffle fries. Okay, we might, we just might have to make a trip to Raleigh for that one. I think another vivid restaurant memory, we went out for sushi on Easter. Yes. When we were in college. All those, uh, 25 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> 25. It was all you can eat, but you had to finish the sushi that you ordered, and uh, we were <laughs> so full. They would charge you $1 per piece if you left any pieces. So we... We were college kids, man. We put the, that sushi in our mouths, we signed the check, and we went out in the street <laughs> and spewed that sushi because I'm pretty sure... We did sure not throw it up. We, it was in our cheeks like a chicken. Chick chick <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure if we swallowed it, it would have been throw up. <laughs> so it's kind of like, what's the difference? <laughs> Guys, thanks for joining us today for Fries with the Fries on Friday. Let us know in the comments your favorite fry place. We just might have to check it out. Yep. Okay, bye guys. Bye. They're coming for us. Fries with the Fries on Friday.